All right. So to see who goes first, I have a little die rolling function. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I would like to be on the play. That's all right. Now, your first game of Legacy, right? Hello. No, we're not starting at 30. I'm trying to close it down. There, there we go. There we go. All right. So take it easy on him, you tubby. You too. All right. So you draw seven cards. <laughs> and then basically, as long as you have like two lands, two or three lands, sometimes even one, you can keep. If you don't have any lands, can't keep. If you have too many lands, probably not. And you kind of get the gist of what the deck is trying to do. Yeah. And well, he's. Uh, you just decide if you want to keep going. Yeah. While he's doing that, I'm gonna show the camera what I have going on. Can't actually. Well. There we go. Hello. I like this. This is okay. For a first hand of the day, I think this is fine. Alright, what do you say? Okay, I would like to start off with a Caracas, which is just going to make some white mana, and a Lotus Petal, which is going to also make some white mana. I'm going to pop the Lotus Petal. It makes one mana, doesn't take any mana to play, but I, it's gone now, so bye bye. For a Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Now she's going to make all of our non-creature spells cost mm -hmm. one more to cast. So your creatures like Goblin Guide and Monastery Swiss Spear and Eidolon of Rhetoric, those are going to be, or not Rhetoric, uh, the Great oh, Rebel, those are going to be fine. But everything else is going to cost one more. And then I'll pass the turn to you. So it's clear what I'm on, but white doesn't show up very well in here, so I'm going to keep mine on green. Oh, you'll, you'll draw too. <laughs> yeah. You only don't draw on your first turn if you go first. We'll play the mountain. Good. Tap. Golem guy. Yep, that's the thing. Probably don't want to attack because this thing has first strike, unfortunately. Yep. Alright. Yeah, first strike just means it'll deal damage before anything that doesn't have first strike. So I'll draw a card. Let's see. Well. I'm going to uh, attack you for two. Probably don't want to block here. Probably not. So, yeah, roll you down to 18. And now that it's pretty clear what you're on, let me adjust that. Hey, there we go. Have the sound up. Uh, on my second main phase, I would like to play... Yeah, I, I turned mine whichever way. Um, it's actually awkward whichever way we do this, but I'm going to try you next. This is Ancient Tomb. It makes two mana. The cost, though, is that I have to spend two of my life, so I'm kind of doing your job a little bit for you. This is Preeminent Captain. It also has First Strike. Oh, you might be my favorite person. Uh, you know what I'm playing. And then I'll pass the turn. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is not usually... Oh, you'll draw a card, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is not usually a great match for you. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> it's not. It's much better if you're going first, but I went first, so... Mm. So I'm going to lose a life. Okay. Yep, yep, that's right. Search my library for a mountain. You got green. it. Right? Which you'll always just get a mountain. I, per, I All of the mountains in that deck are this art, because it's what I call the Georgia O'Keefe art. Does it come in tapped? Nope, no. does not come in tapped. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's decent. <laughs> I'd like to think so. Yeah, we'll shuffle it a bit more. Why not? Alright. Yeah. And then after that, we always 
present it to our opponent who gets to do the same bit. Yeah, usually it's just a cut, but force of habit, I'd do more than that for some reason. All right, and uh, anything else this turn? That's it. Okay. <clears throat> eh. Okay, I'll draw. That's pretty good. Okay, I would like to go to combat. I would like to hit you for four. Now, if this one connects, I get to drop a soldier. Wait a minute. Oh, this is when it attacks. I'm sorry. So, now a soldier is attacking uh, as well. It's going to be Daru Warchief. This is a... It says it's a 1-1, one, one, but it has an ability that gives it plus 1, plus 2, so it's actually a 2-3. And it makes all of my soldiers cost one less to play. So... Yeah, and this is soldiers I control, so these two are now bigger as well. So this is a 3-3, three, three, this is a 3-4, and this is a 2-3. So that escalated quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. Admittedly. Uh, well, normally no, but it, this one actually states that it comes in tapped and attacking. So. It, it doesn't have haste, but this one makes an exception because okay. of the way it's worded. That, that threw me off, too. I thought this was one of those, like, if it connects, then it drops, because I keep thinking of Goblin Lackey. But Okay, no, okay. it's just... I guess I eat the damage, then. Yeah, it's either that or, like, you double block this guy. Yeah, either way. All okay, right, so one, two, three, do, do, do. One, two, three, do, do, do. One, two, do, do. Okay, on my second turn, or second half of my turn, I'll again take two. Actually, I mean, I'm going to, well, there is a there's a better way to do this. I can instead, no, we're, we're going to do, oh, no, I can't do that. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this then. I'll only lose one life, because this one requires me to pay one rather than two. Normally, this would cost three mana, but... You're making her cheaper, so Good. Thalia Heretic Cathar. It's going to make all of your creatures and non-basic lands. You don't have that many non-basics, though. And enter tapped. Um, and then I'll pass the turn to you. Like the, I think the only ones in your deck that are non-basic are those lands like this. The fetch lands, we call them. I think I can move it. Yep, all the way over there. There's the graveyard. Is there any glare? Yep, yeah, that's the thing. Alright. Yeah, first strike, first strike, first strike. This is a uh, this is an odd mechanic to go up against. I guess an intern. Okay. Draw. Okay. Um, I would like to go to combat. We're all going to attack, and that'll trigger preeminent captain. Well, preeminent captain has a buddy, and uh, hiya. So all, all told, we're looking here at four, seven, yeah. ten, thirteen. Yeah, 15. It's a lot. Well, let's turn. That's the game. Ah, we'll go to the next game. I'm sorry, dude. Um, I'm sure there are some sideboard cards to match up against creature heavy decks, though, so we'll see what you can do on that. I was trying to get this one out as soon yeah, as possible. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, you can cut if you like. Okay, so would you like to be on the play? Would you like to go first? Sure. Okay. Alright, let's see what seven I can get. Uh, I just realized I shuffled some of my cards in upside down. Oh well. <laughs> it's just going to make me a little OCD, that's all. Uh, this is a, a fine hand. I'll keep. I'm not for sure it was going to rain. Ah, I can make this work. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Blue yep, she's good. She has haste. Gonna hit me for one? Yep. Sounds good. All right. My turn. Oh, what do I want to do? How about... <laughs> what what this conversation is in the background. Yeah. Gotta love it, right? Welcome to Tapstar. I will play a Cavern of Souls, and I'll name soldiers, because all my creatures are soldiers. It basically doesn't matter for you, but I can make mana of any color, and if I do so, then that creature can't be countered, but only if it's of that kind. So I can only spend colored mana on soldiers. But you're not countering my spells anyway, so that, that usually doesn't matter. This is basically just a land that makes white mana. Uh, after that, we're going to play a Chrome Mox. And this one will let me imprint a card onto it. Well, I'm going to imprint a Suppression Field, which is a white card. Well, now this will make white mana if I tap it. Which is exactly what I'm about to do here. Tap it. This is called Chalice of the Void. So it enters the battlefield with X charge counters. Well, I, I spent two mana, so X, X is one. So it enters with one charge counter. And I'll see if I can find a die or something to represent that. It'll automatically counter every spell that's played that had, that cost one. So you're fine, because you're already on the field, but you see how she cost one mana? That means, had she come down later, she would have been countered. Um, and I'll, I'll find a die, but now, you, now it's your turn. Now you can go. We get to, yeah, you got it. Uh, um, I have one around here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, you know what? Probably if it's going to get food or if it's going to just gonna borrow this. It has one card underneath it. I'm going to go with that. I thought that I brought my dice, but apparently I did not. I left them at home. Uh, Evangeline was playing with them, that's right. Okay. Uh, uh, but you can play anything that costs two or more, of course. Anything that doesn't cost. I'm gonna swing at you again. Okay. I'll end up taking one. I'm sure, yes. Because these are one of us that we've heard of much today. Alright, we'll just we'll do this. Alright. Anything else after that? Okay. Okay. I will play an ancient tomb once again. And this time, we're going to pay four, which means I'll have to take two to do this. But I'm going to get out an investment officer. So it's a two, three, first strike, so that, that's a thing again. Uh, when it comes into play, Reveal the top four cards in my deck. One, two, three, four. I can put all the soldier cards revealed this way, soldier boy and soldier girl over here, uh, into my hand, and then the rest on the bottom. Alright, cool. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add those two to my hand, and then I'll pass the turn. Yep, that'll work. Okay, put you at 18. It only co cost one life for an effect that good, man. Okay. You can't see you two, but I'm stretching so hard right now. Hello. There we go. Just pick up the deck and wherever it naturally breaks. Price of progress. Ooh, I have two non-basic, so I will take four damage. That's fair enough. And now that's a two-three. Yeah. All right. It's not quite big enough to beat this thing, though. They would just bounce off each other. All right. That's turn. Yep. I actually okay. I can make it. I can move everything in a trip in my truck. Okay. 
Well, I would like to go to, well, no, I, I guess not yet. We're going to go one, two. I'm actually going to take two more. Call this a mistake. You may not be wrong. Uh, Daru Warchief. This is Mr. I Make Things Cheaper Again. Yeah. And then I'll play a Plains. And I'll attack you for, he's going to give him plus one, so I'm going to attack you for three. And then I will pass the turn back to you. Now this one does not have first strike, but it is a 2-3. Okay. Hopefully I won't need to tap that ancient tomb anymore. That's the plan anyway. Spoiler alert. Okay. Well, since I can't drop anything of one. Yeah. That just That's gotta be rough. Essentially just Yikes. Yeah, if you want to you can show the camera. I won't look. I can't look, obviously. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Alright. So how much HP does he have? Well, total... Well, it it's three. So if you hit it with something that deals three damage, then it's it's done. Mm -hmm. Typically, though, you're going to want to hit this guy, because he's actually making the other dudes bigger. This guy is. So if I sacrifice two mountains... Yep. That will do it. <clears throat> he's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. Alright. And now I don't have a creature that can block you, so if you'd like, you can attack. Yeah. Alright, I'll take two. One from it, and one from the prowess trigger, from the fire blast. Alright. Yeah, prowess is fun. Is that your turn? Yep. Alright. Now, let's see. Let's try this again. Okay. I'll play another land. It's a plains. One, two, three, four. You again! <laughs> Didn't I just kill the <laughs> Yeah. He's a jerk like that. I'm going to swing at you for three again. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Right on over to you. Right on over. There we go. It goes off, off again. So many lands, though, man. That is more lands than this deck usually comes across in a game. But I guess I am making it take longer than it usually goes. Longer than it usually takes. Another one? Oh, you got me again. Okay. Hit me for two. I'm at six. Okay, let's turn. All right. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Okay. I have had it with you taking all my stuff, so or hitting me. So we're going to play a palace jailer. When this enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. All hail the king. Um, what that means is that it creates kind of a new rule for the game. I, I'm the monarch, and at the end of my turn, if I'm still the monarch, I get to draw a card. If you want to become the monarch, you have to deal combat damage to me. And then you get the same thing. You'll draw a card at the end of your turn and back and forth and back and forth. So, right now, uh, I'm going to call this a crown. Yeah, it's a planeswalker symbol, but turn it yeah, it looks like a, a crown a little bit. Cool. I'm the, I'm the king, biatch. <laughs> and then, uh, what it does, however, in addition to that, is that it exiles a creature, I'm going to take your Swiss spear, for as long as I'm the monarch. So, once I'm no longer the monarch, you get your Swiss spear back. And in the meantime, hi-yah. 
hit you for two. Um, I will play a land. It'll be Caracas. I will go to pass my turn, and because I'm the monarch, I'll draw a card. It's good to be the king. Oh, I have the pass turn. Oh, uh oh. All of these cards. Hello. All right. I would like to go to combat. I will hit you for four. I will play a Thalia Heretic Cathar, the one that makes your creatures and non-basics come in tapped. And then I'll pass the turn to you. Oh yeah, yeah, because I'm the monarch. That's right. All hell. Long may I live. I hope. Oh, well, that actually comes in tapped because she's in play. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't play it. You can you can play it, you can't tap it to sack it this turn. Oh. Your turn. If you have a mountain, you can do that instead, but I have a sneaking suspicion that's what you drew this turn. Since you didn't play a land last turn. I'll draw. Hiya! Got anything for me? GG. <laughs> uh, GG. Alright, so that's this dumb deck. Um, yeah, this is this is not a great match for you, so I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that guy. Um, I only had one card I decided in against you. It was... Well, first I can show what I cited out. It's one of the palace jailers. <clears throat> it's four mana. Sometimes I don't get to it in this game. Because normally your deck is fast when I don't do stupid stuff like that. Uh, what I cited in, however, did not show up, so let's see. Where'd you go? And in the meantime, I can be turning my upside down cards right side up, too. Mm. Much needed, of course. Oh, come on. You're in here somewhere. But it's just one, so we'll see. Where'd you go? Hey, there it is. Aegis of the Gods. It gives me Hexproof, which makes it where you can't target me. Now, usually that's not that big of a deal for you, because you can just blow it up first, and now you can target me again, so haha. -ha. But it, it takes away one, one of your spells. Sure. And that's, that's about that. <laughs>